How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, back with another week of Fashion Report coverage. It's week 340. As always, shout out to Kyoko Star for all the fantastic work they do with theory crafting to make the Fashion Report so easy every week. All right, so starting off with the easy 80-point version, don't forget to use a Gold Saucer VIP card if you have any for the extra 15% bonus MGP. We only need one piece of gear for this, the Ekadal Wrist Gloves. It requires you to complete the first bit of the Ixali Beast Tribe quests. When you finish the quest Reaching for Cloud 9, you'll get your wrist gloves, so go ahead and equip those. Aside from that, we just need one Dalamud red die. These are locked behind reputation, so I would just get it at the market board to save time and energy. Once you've got your stuff, equip your wrist gloves and dye any dyeable headpiece to Dalamud red. Teleport over to the Golden Saucer and teleport over to Wonder Square East. Hop down over the railing and present yourself for judging at the Masked Rose. He'll do his usual speech, and there you go. Easy 60,000 MGP. All right, so now for the easy 100-point fashion leader version. Again, don't forget to use a Gold Saucer VIP card if you have any for the extra 15% bonus MGP. You're going to need to equip your Gambler's Crown. You get this for successfully equipping five materia to a single piece of gear. If you didn't hang on to yours, you can pick it up from the Calamity Salvager over by the Blue Mage vendor in Old Da. If you've never done that before, I would recommend just finding the cheapest materia on the market board, grabbing all those, and just throwing them into a piece of gear. Next, you're going to need to get yourself an Animos Jacket. You can grab this from the market board for pretty cheap. It's around 30000 right now on Zalera. Otherwise, you'll have to head to Eureka to get it. Next, you're going to need to get yourself some Claws of the Beast. You can grab this from the Gold Saucer at the Gold Saucer Attendant for 30,000 MGP. If you don't have enough, do the easy fashion report first, then use 30,000 of the 60,000 you'll get from that to buy the claws. That's all we need for gear, so now it's time to buy some dyes. We need two soot black. These are locked behind reputation, so I would just get them from the market board to save time and energy. We need two Gloom Purple, which are also locked behind reputation, so again, market board. And we need one Gobby Bag Brown, which we can buy from the independent merchant, Nana Bay, in Ulda. Once you've got all those bought, you need to have any dyeable weapon that's dyed soot black, your Gambler's Crown, your Animos Jacket that's dyed Gobby Bag Brown, your Claws of the Beast that's dyed Gloom Purple, any dyeable leg piece that's dyed soot black, and any dyeable feet piece that's dyed gloom purple. Once you've got yourself all glammed up, head on over to the Golden Saucer, teleport over to Wonder Square East, hop down over the railing, and present yourself for judging at the Masked Rose. He'll do his usual speech, and there you go. Easy 60,000 MGP, as well as the fashion leader title. All right, that'll do it for me, everybody. If you could leave a like if you found this video helpful, that would really help me out. Head over to my Twitter and comment on this video with your fashion report glam for this week. And subscribe to the channel for more Final Fantasy XIV and Dawn Trail content.